it's no secret if you play Warpath and you've played for any length of time and you've more or less gone through the evolution of Warpath over the last couple of years, you've seen all of the big notable changes and the continued changes that continue to happen within Warpath. But here recently, it seems like we've been getting a lot of big information in a pretty short period of time, which doesn't seem to be very normal, but in a lot of ways, it's good stuff. And recently, one of the big pieces of news and information that has come out is a letter from the producer of Warpath that detailed from really the kind of back end on what their vision for Warpath has always been and also where it's going to be heading in the future. I'm sure many of you have read it. I'm sure a lot of you probably have not. So we're going to cover it in this video because I thought there was some pretty good information in there. So without further ado, let's go and get started. Welcome back. I hope you were all doing wonderful. I hope life is going well as always. Super excited to cover this pretty new and exciting information. While it is eh, roughly a week old, it's still relevant and it is still new and I still think it is worth covering. But before we jump in and cover it, if you enjoy this video and want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you are not already so you don't miss any future uploads. After we run through everything in this letter, If you are excited for the future of Warpath, make sure again you smash that like button. Let's try to get this video to at least 150 likes. All right, so we are now in the letter that was actually sent out in game to everybody, and we're going to kind of skim through, and I want to talk about certain parts of it. And I'm not going to read it word for word for you. I assume most of you are or have the ability to read for yourself. So if you need to, feel free to pause the video and read on the parts that are on the screen. But basically, to summarize this first big chunk here, this is talking about the implementation of Air Force and why they went ahead and did that, even though there were um, more cost-effective, if you will, and that's even what they put in there, uh, ways they could have updated the game. They went, uh, according to this, they went for the more complex more enjoyable addition to the game in Air Force. And then it transitioned and starts talking about what is coming to Warpath, but not here yet, which is Navy. This I will start to read word for word, just so if you are listening and not actually watching, you can hear it. But if you're watching, obviously, feel free to pause, read it for yourself or whatever. Uh, But it says, in the months ahead, we'll continue to focus on elevating your in-game experience. Prepare for the debut of Naval Units ocean cities, and a new conquest map designed for naval combat. Just like with our air units, the new naval units will offer diverse strategic options and a realistic immersive naval warfare experience. These units will be divided into six types based on real vessels, such as aircraft carriers, submarines, anti-submarine frigates, missile destroyers, armed destroyers, or armored destroyers, and anti-air destroyers. And then this is where they start to break down, and this is the first breakdown with some actual context to it that I have personally seen come out so far about what type of units or naval units specifically are going to be coming into the game, and then also what roles they're actually going to be somewhat playing. So it says aircraft carriers can deploy airplanes for remote strikes. Submarines excel at stealth operations that can sneak up on targets for surprise attacks. But the submarines are also vulnerable to anti-submarine frigates, which have an enhanced detection and counter-submarine capabilities. Missile destroyers are ideal for taking on enemy ships and fortifications, while armored destroyers provide top-notch defense. Anti-air destroyers are your best option for countering enemy air units and intercepting missiles. With each ship type offering unique combat features, you and your allies can create your own team and fleet combinations to outsmart your opponents. We can't wait to see your forces on the naval-themed conquest map and experience the intense naval battles that can only be found in Warpath. And then this last section here says, based on feedback from our community, we understand that having new content every day is just as crucial as creating new events to keep your game experience exciting. That's why we'll soon be launching 
the New York Conquest, introducing new Conquest skills for your officers and bringing an extra layer of strategic gameplay. We are also working on Operation Athena, a co-op tower defense mode that promises to deliver some exciting new challenges. And, of course, we are not forgetting about the naval addition to Operation Hegemon, where you and your allies will embark on thrilling naval battles on the open sea. So now that we've gone over or gone through that letter, let's talk about a couple of the high points here. The first one being there is a little bit, at least to me, and maybe if I misinterpreted this, you guys can let me know, but my interpretation of that letter based on the wording is that when it was talking about the maps, they said they're going to have more ocean-themed or based maps as well as a naval or ocean-based theater of conquest. So I'm not really sure, from my understanding up to this point, Navy is only going to be a theater of conquest-specific feature, not a specific feature for level one, two, and three cities. So there seems to be a little bit of gray area there. Not really sure if that's just poor wording or if there's actually more to this than myself or I think most people anticipated there being. Of course, just like with anything, we will have to wait and see. But that's kind of something to keep in mind there. And then also the second part of that is when it talked about Operation Hegemon having a naval-themed aspect to it. Does that mean that the uh, only the Operation Hegemon events that you participate in while in that specific Theater of Conquest event that has the naval feature will be a thing? Or are all Operation Hegemon events going to now, moving forward, have a naval-themed aspect to them once Navy actually gets released? We don't know. Obviously, there is uh, plenty of speculation going around. Time will tell, but they are now a lot of you, especially if you were somewhat newer to Warpath, will not remember way, way, way back in the day when they first introduced Air Force prior to the actual official introduction of Air Force into the game. They had a test server and then they handpicked some players to be a part of that test server to actually see how the Air Force aspect of everything worked. They are doing that again for Navy, so we will see how that goes and maybe that'll give them some time to fix some things, clean some things up, and hopefully by the time it is ready for the official launch, everything, all the bugs, more or less, are worked out. So the big overarching theme here is the Navy. With all of that we talked about today, give me your thoughts in the comments below. Are you excited for this? Are you not excited for this? Do you think this is going to be good for the game, bad for the game? I would love to hear all of your thoughts, again, in the comments below. If you have stuck around and made it this far into the video, if you have access to Discord and are not already in our community Discord server, the link to that is going to be in the description of the video below. Click on that link. It'll take you right into the community Discord server. Whether you are a new player and want to learn, have questions, whether you're a veteran player and just want to come hang out, get to know more people in the community, or if you just want to come talk more about this Navy update, doesn't matter. We'd love to have you come be a part of it with us. As always, thanks for hanging out with me on the video today. We'll catch you on the next one.